this is a model that I recently acquired in my collection. Um, and it has a problem that a lot of models that I buy do. And that is that the car is in really very good condition. Um, not quite mint, but very near mint. Um, but the box uh, is a little crushed in on the sides and it's missing one of the end flaps. It's been torn off. So today I'm going to shoot a very quick video to show you how I do this repair. So the, the key to making these box repairs um, is this material here. Um, I've heard it referred to as paper tape um, or water-based tape. I'm sure there's different names for it, but um, it's a brown paper tape and you can see I bought this on Amazon. It's like a thousand feet, which is probably more than I will ever need to fix all of my Matchbox boxes ever. Um, but I'm gonna pull off a little bit just so we have something to work with. So what I do is I look for kind of a natural place where I can make the joint. Um, so sometimes these end flaps are also loose. And in those cases, I will run the paper tape all the way across the entire piece um, to further reinforce this joint along here, um, as well as the joint at the box. In this case, this one seems to be pretty well intact. Um, and so I actually don't want to tape it because if I do, then as I try to bend the cardboard, I'm going to get a, a bubble or a roll um, where that joint is in the tape. So today we're going to try to align the paper tape just right at the inside part of that joint. And the way that you do this, the way that this tape works, is it needs to be dampened. Um, so I use just a little kitchen sponge. Um, I'm going to apply just a small amount of water to the back side of the paper tape. And then we'll align our box flap. And then just press it firmly. The other thing I liked about this is because this glue is a water-based glue, um, if for some reason I would ever want to remove this or undo this repair, all I would have to do is dampen uh, this back side of the paper and that glue would release and and let go um, so this is a It's a good repair. Um, this glue is very very sticky once it's had the, the chance to set up um, but it's also reversible so from a purist collection um, Especially if you have something that's extremely rare um, This is not a repair that really compromises the original box in any way so after I get that set, um, my next step is to very carefully, with a pair of scissors, trim off my excess paper tape. So, so as you can see, we've kept the edge of the box flap intact. Um, I don't cut the original flap at all, I just cut right next to it on the paper tape. Now, the flap that we have left up here is the piece that I will glue or adhere inside the original box. Um, so, I generally want enough material there to be good enough to hold that flap onto, but I probably don't need quite this much material. So I'm actually gonna trim this up a little bit as well. Now, um, on the original boxes, most of these were made with one flap on one side and the other flap on the other side. And in this box, you can actually see uh, right along this edge here where it's kind of fuzzy 
um, and that is where the box tore. So the first thing I like to do is kind of dry fit this up and see if all of the edges meet. And as you can see, that's a really good, almost seamless fix. Um, so I'm gonna be really happy with that. And then the next step, all you have to do is dampen that paper tape. We're gonna insert it carefully. And again, line up those edges of the flap and the box. And then you, as you can see, I've opened up both sides of the box because what I wanna be able to do is lay this flat so that I can press to get that tape to adhere. Um, occasionally, when I come back and check these, if I have a little edge of the paper tape that's up, you can also dampen that from the back side, um, and that will also go down and activate that glue. So the last thing that I do, just to kind of, and you can see I've, I've cut the kitchen sponges a little bit smaller, so these ones actually fit really nice inside of the box. Um, so the next thing I'm gonna do is get rid of the bow that we have in the box here. Um, and I use a very high-tech method that um, requires me to steal some of my wife's tools. So the way that I flatten my boxes, uh, first, like I said, is to unfold them. Um, and then I just use a flat table surface here and a regular clothes iron. Um, the setting I use on this is just past the, the hottest I can get it, but before I get into the steam. Um, I don't need steam for the boxes usually, just heat. Um, so a few seconds going over the box, each direction. I've got one that way, and then I will flip the fold. And that heat really tries to make sure that we've gotten rid of all of the residual moisture that was in that paper tape. All that we have to do at this point is reassemble our box. And that is as easy as folding our inner flaps in and tucking the in flaps, uh, likely just exactly how they did in the factory. So that completes our restoration of this matchbox number 20 uh, taxi cab and I do plan to do a couple of uh, future videos uh, showing how to do the smaller flaps, um, how to replace a missing end flap, how we can recreate that artwork and uh, restore a box that might be missing some of those pieces. Um, as well as I, I've got a couple boxes that the artwork on the sides are not great, and I'm gonna to try to see what I can do to restore those. I have a few that also have cellophane uh, or masking tape on the outside, and so I'm gonna to attempt to actually remove uh, the tape that blocks the outside of the box and the artwork and uh, repair those tears and rips with my paper tape method. So watch for those future videos. Uh, but for those of you that asked me how I was doing these box restorations, uh, this was a kind of step one on one of the methods and some of the tools that I use uh, to do my box restorations. Mm -hmm.